A full moon greeted the St. Patrick's Athletic and Strada United players as they came out onto the pitch at Richmond Park on Friday night. Strada came in search of their first win in four league matches after drawing their last three games. But they'll have to finish off their season without James Keddy, who's been ruled out for the remainder of the campaign with an ankle injury. Paul Doolan's men were without suspended skipper Declan O'Brien, striker Tony Grant, while defender Simon Webb was unavailable. Both teams did have a Paul Keegan in their starting lineups. For Pats, who haven't won a league game since the 23rd of July, Keith Fahey started with Mark Rooney named on the bench. Both teams had early goal scoring opportunities. After three minutes, Paul Keegan sent in a drive which fully tested Barry Ryan, but the Pats keeper gathered the ball on the second time of asking, ahead of the onrushing Glenn Fitzpatrick. Four minutes later, Anto Murphy sent in a long throw in. Paul Keegan and Trevor Malloy both got touches, but the Drogs defence managed to clear the danger. And the home side took the lead in the ninth minute, thanks to none other than former Drogheda United player Keith Fahey. Pats were awarded a free kick, and Fahey sent in an excellent delivery, which came down off the underside of the crossbar before going over the line. And although there was a bit of confusion at first as to whether the ball had actually crossed the whitewash, the goal was given and was 1-0 to Pats. Four minutes later, Fahey sent in another free kick which picked out Paul Keegan, but Keegan's header went well over the bar. Trada went in search of the equaliser, but they were hampered by some poor finishing. 26 minutes into the second half, and Drada really should have been back on level terms. Shane Robinson's flick went over the head of Malloy and to the feet of Keegan, but with only goalkeeper Ryan to beat, Keegan somehow managed to shank his effort. Straight after that, Pats had a chance to go 2 0 up. Substitute Mark Rooney sent in a cross to the box, but Malloy sent his effort well wide. Minutes later, Drogheda United were reduced to 10 men. Jason Gavin received a second yellow for a foul on Malloy and was ordered off. In the 72nd minute, Eamon Zaid, who'd come on for Fitzpatrick, struck a great shot for Drogs, but it was tipped over the bar by pass keeper Ryan. Pat scored the all-important second goal with 10 minutes remaining. A long cross was floated onto the path of Rooney. He left it until as late as possible to cross to Dave Mulcahy. But when Mulcahy's shot was spilled by Dan Connor, it fell to the onrushing Keegan, who fired the ball into the back of the net. Pats wrapped up the three points in the 90th minute. Drogheda were guilty of some poor defending, and Rooney managed to tussle his way forward. He then laid off to substitute Mark Quigley, and he coolly tucked the ball away. 3-0 to Pats was how it finished for their first league victory in 11 weeks, while the defeat effectively ended Drogheda United's title aspirations.